This is a sea star, also known as a starfish. It is, of course, not a fish, but rather an animal that belongs to a larger group of animals called echinoderms. Echinoderm means spiky skin, and this group includes sea urchins and sea cucumbers. Some of the starfish you'll often see at the Woodbridge Marine Discovery Centre are the 11 arm sea star, the zigzag sea star, the 8 arm sea star, and the biscuit star. So the term starfish is a little misleading, but it's used so often that it can be considered correct, just as long as you remember they are not fish, but echinoderms. Starfish are flat animals with a body that is spread out, often with long arms that are called rays. They have a top surface and a surface underneath. This is where the mouth is. A scientific term for the mouth in any animal is oral, so we call the underside area of the sea star the oral surface. Most starfish are scavengers, eating any organic matter that they find, both animal and vegetable, so they are omnivores. They feed by pushing their stomach out of their mouth, which then covers the food, secretes chemicals to break it down, and then absorb it into the body. This is called digesting. Some sea stars eat mollusks, such as mussels or scallops. They wrap around the mollusk, stick to it firmly, then slowly and steadily pull the shell open. They only need to prise it open a very tiny bit, just enough for them to push their stomach into the shell where they digest the mollusk inside. They walk using hundreds of tiny tubed feet that sit inside a groove along the ray, called the ambulacral groove. These feet produce a glue that allows them to stick onto rocks as well as acting as suction cups. The feet are inflated with water which extends them outwards or the animal can pull them back by deflating them and using their internal muscles. The feet also absorb oxygen from the water, helping the sea star to breathe. The ray is flexible and, combined with the sticky tube feet, can enable the sea star to flip itself back over if turned upside down, as demonstrated in this time-lapse video which has been sped up, as it can take a while. You'll notice that some sea stars are faster than others. The top surface of the sea star is covered in very tiny puffy sacs called papillae. They are inflated with water, like the feet, and are also used to absorb oxygen from the water, helping the sea star to breathe. Sea stars have an eye at the end of each ray and are sensitive to light. If we cover the sea star from the bright light of the microscope and then suddenly expose it to the light again, Look at how the papillae respond. The body of the sea star is covered in plates called ossicles, which can produce beautiful patterns such as in this biscuit star. One particular plate stands out as different to the others, and this is called the madreporite. Water enters through here and allows the sea star to inflate its tube feet and papillae. The water then exits through the anus in the center top of the sea star, taking waste products with it as it leaves. A feature common to many echinoderms is the ability to regenerate body parts. In some sea stars, a new individual starfish can regrow from a discarded arm. 